Okay, I bought these what are described as blunt needles off an auction site on the internet. Uh, very cheap. They're used with a syringe and I believe they're used to dispense inks and glues in measured quantities, that kind of thing. I had the idea I could use them to make um, nibs for a lining pen. Uh, they come in a range of needle sizes, so I'll perhaps make something like this. This particular lining pen has a 1mm nib. This nib was given to me by a fellow model maker. I subsequently made the handle to hold it and it, it's the nib screws in. So I couldn't use this handle to accommodate these particular needles in any way, so I'd have to make a new handle as well. So I've got a bit of bar here, which I'm going to use. This is 303 stainless steel. I milled it rectangle to a rectangular shape, 8mm by 6mm from a round bar. I could simply drill a hole in this, grind off this square bit on the end of the needle, put it in the hole and put a grip screw in or something like that, dead simple. Then make a handle to hold the bar. But that's not really very interesting, so I thought I'd make something a little bit more interesting. I did a little sketch initially. Just to, gen just to develop some ideas. And then subsequently did a card drawing. It's not necessary to do a card drawing, but something I just like to do. So I've got a few holes of various sizes to drill in this piece of bar. They need to be fairly accurately positioned. I could put them in the CNC and accurately drill them. I could put them in the mill and coordinate drill them. But that's not very interesting really for me anyway. I love my drilling machine and I just like to drill so that's what we're going to use. In that respect I could mark this out and centre pop it which would be a, the most common way to use a drilling machine. Um, I probably would find that one or two would go off centre somehow. So I've developed a what I would call a manual coordinate system on the drilling machine that I like to use uh, to drill all these holes. So that's what we're going to do and I'm going to show you how I do it. So at the drilling machine, so before starting to do any drilling we just need to check that the table is actually square with the spindle otherwise you could get some errors. So I've got it on here, this side set at zero. It's minus 0.02 plus 0.02 plus 0.05. So it's within around about 0.07 millimeters, two or three thou. Okay, so I've clamped the workpiece to a 3 to 1 block and set it so that the edge of the workpiece is parallel or in line with the, with the block so I can use this face as a reference. And I'm just going to use an old broken end mill, 6mm diameter. As my reference for the spindle. Bring that down. And I use a parallel and also this block I made which fits to the parallel. I can slide and lock in position. The first hole has to be four millimeters in from the side of the workpiece and 4mm from the end of the workpiece. So initially I'll set the side of the block with reference to the spindle. So I just touch on the side of the pin and then I use a 7mm spacer in which case, in this case I'm going to use a drill. It's being near enough and I can put the parallel up against there Pop that down 
Okay, so when I remove the, the drill and put that up against the parallel, the spindle is now in the center of the bar, so I have that reference set there. We do the same with the other side, with the, with the other axis. So I use the drill again, seven millimeters, bring the block down, clamp it in position. Just check if it's okay. Okay, remove the drill, lift the spindle. So that's the position for our first hole. Clamp that down for security. So I'm just going to use a 3mm spotting drill first of all. Okay, so I'll put a pilot drill in 3mm diameter. an accurate five millimeter hole so I'm putting a 4.8 drill in first Ok the next hole is 10.5 millimeters in, so I've made up a spacer block using slip gauges. There we go, spot drill again. Okay, this is two millimeter drill. That's it, that's that side done. We can check on the accuracy. So I'll just measure the thickness between the hole and the side. It's 1.5, Check the other side.
1.49 so that's um, 0.03 that's a thou difference so it's half a thou off centre so I think that's pretty good okay I've turned this workpiece around through 90 degrees the width of it is six millimeters got two holes to drill the first one is for 7 ba so I'll drill two millimeters then I'll drill halfway down 2.4 millimeters for clearance for 7 ba and then an, another the last hole would be three millimeters so just the same procedure Three millimeter depth, so I'll just touch the drill on, lock a spindle, and use a spacer to set the depth gauge. Off camera I've machined the flats on this part so the next thing we want to do is cut the slot down the center here so we're going to set up in the mill and do that next okay so we're at the tackle mill we want to center the cutter right up to the workpiece the cutter is one millimeter workpiece is eight millimeters so half of that is four and half the cutter is a 0.5 so we need to touch on Okay, so we've touched on, so we'll go 4.5. So the blade's in the center. So we're going to cut the two slots, top and bottom. So I zero the digital readout and I'm going to drop it 1.5. Well, I'll increase it 1.5 first and I'm ready for a cut. Okay, now we drop it 1.5 to the other side and the digital readout. Take the cut.
Okay, put it back to zero. Right, theoretically we should be in the centre. We should hit this two millimetre hole here. and backwards a little bit apart from a bit of polishing this is the finished nip holder I initially cut it to length I made these firing dollies which are silver steel hardened they just used to give some guide for the file to file the radius so they just fit in locate like this held in the vise and then use the guide to file so they give you a really nice reasonably accurate radius the lips fit very well They're really secure, easy to remove. Okay, so all we need to do now is make a handle, cut these needles to length, give it a try, do some experimentation. So, see part two. <laughs> 